Hello and welcome back to Digging for Drez. This time, we are heading into space, obviously, with the space turret once again. And we are flying a mission to the space station. And we've got a couple of objectives for this mission. One of them is to uh, reattach those girders from last time. And I have looked into Kerbal Attachment System and I was just being a derp and uh, not reading the manual. So I now know how to attach things with Kerbal t Attachment System. So that's good. And our second goal for this mission is to finally rotate out the crew from the station. So Bill and Bob will be returning and Natasha and Carol will be taking their place. So that's all good. And I've updated the design of the space dart. I've left in these little winglets and I've also added a reaction control system along with an ejection system so this can now dock under its own power and save the crew if something goes wrong and we're pressing boost the burnout confirmed oh that was a bit close for comfort Let's see. We're not accelerating quite as fast as I would like. And those engines are heating up again. I don't know why they do that. Maybe it's because they're in the airstream as well as firing. But now we're gaining distance again on our apparatus. So we can start pulling over a bit more. I've also updated the uh, power systems in the shuttle. You might remember before we just had four tiny surface mount solar panels on the inside of the cargo bay. That wasn't exactly... What? Oh. Joystick glitch again. Anyway, those solar panels weren't exactly good for... Nah, uh, how would you... They weren't ideal. You can't, had to keep the spacecraft pointed in a certain direction with its cargo bay open, and it was just a big hassle. So now what we've got is a couple of fuel cells. And for missions to low Kerbin orbit, I don't need all of the 700 meters per second I have available in the uh, OMS engine. So, I can afford to use some of that fuel to generate power. down. Starting to get a bit high torque here. And we want that time to apps to be well over a minute when we go onto our second engine. Come on. Work with me here. And... Have Miko. There we go. Keep on the retrograde, prograde rather. Ditch the tank. Parachutes have armed. And now we can keep going. 
with the OMS engine. So yes, it looks rather like a Christmas tree with all these things glowing. Oh, and look at that, there's the station up there. Very nice. Okay, time to perhaps is decreasing, that's not good. Oh boy. I think we might have ended up a bit too heavy. Come on, baby. You can do this. Please do this. I don't want to have to be launching like this for nothing. Oh no. I don't think this is gonna work. I don't have enough Delta V. No. I'm nowhere near the station. And I'm almost out. No! Yeah, this isn't gonna work. Let's just hope we can make it to the grasslands. Because I'm not reverting this. Yeah, there was no hope of us making that orbit. I should have known better. Well, at any rate, here are our fuel cells. No liquid fuel, so they're pretty much useless. Okay, so apparently we were way too heavy. And I needed more fuel. Probably some extra solid boosters wouldn't go astray either. I will sort this out. And now we just set up for re-entry. I have tested this shuttle before, and it's made it to orbit, but that was with no payload. So, I will have to work on that, and of course those winglets blowing up again. I might just take those off. And flames, all the flames. Well, that wasn't too bad now, was it? If that would go away. There we are. Okay. Lights on. Switch the chase cam. Nav HUD on. It helps if I turn off. Fizz warp. Gear down. Now let's find a place to land. Well, at least I know that these two can uh, handle flying a failed shuttle mission. Seriously thought this would be able to make it. Apparently not. But we live and we learn. And I do have a, another plan using a conventional capsule. So all is not lost. We will get our crew and our gear up there just not in the way we intended here we go 
go. We're a little slow. Still fast enough to flare. This is such a nice flying shuttle. Don't want to crash into this hill right here. Just sort of plop it on in and brakes. There we go. So now, plan B. And now, after much testing, it is decided to shelf the shuttle for now and instead use a conventional expendable launcher to relieve the station. So this is a modified version of the three-man rescue ship that I built quite a few episodes ago. And it's got a service bay on it that contains the toolboxes. Wow! And it's still as squirrely as ever. And also an escape tower for if I screw something up on launch. So this should be more than enough for our purposes. We've also got an extra crew member here with the uh, Sam tagging along. And yeah, that always happens. That little bit of debris there. I've got no idea what it is. I think it might be a launch clamp glitch. But it doesn't hurt the rocket, so we don't care. And now we continue the launch under uh, four times acceleration. And stage set. I don't know why those clamps do that, but uh, they've been doing it for several versions of KSP. And uh, changing the staging to get rid of the escape tower. And this launch is pretty good. And we. Uh, get up there fairly close to the station and just having a look at the uh, spacecraft itself but now it's all maneuver nodes so we're just going to skip forward to the interesting bits there we are within 2.5 kilometers now frame rate starting to drop off See how close? Perfect. Not quite hitting, but about as close as I'm comfortable getting to it. Now, if we're lucky, which I don't think we will be, we should be getting sunrise pretty soon. the station there. Pretty much invisible on the video unfortunately, but it is there. Let's see, there we are. Now we can see the lights. So that is target, control from here. Whoa, 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 slow down, slow down. Yeah. Don't want to crash. 
Okay, we're safe. Nope. Docking UI. Whoa. Come on. Let me see if I can rotate the right way. Yeah, and just like last time, unfortunately, another docking in the dark. And apparently, I'm shaking around like nobody's business. Talking talk doesn't help things. Okay. Don't know why I'm shaking like this. Or it could be the station that's shaking. That could be it. And in we go. And feel the force. Docked. Yeah, the station's the one that's shaking. I think there might be some collision errors. Oh well. We are here now. Yep, so Bill and Bob are both in the lab. So Sam. Natasha. And Carol. Carol, go in there. There we are. Now, before... We get to leave here as the sun comes up. We need to get Natasha back out because she has got some EVA jobs to do. Oh crap, I didn't fill these, did I? Am I a derp or what? I forgot to actually put stuff in these. Wonderful! Uh, yet again, one thing I'll have to rectify in the interim between episodes. And after a bit more whining about my own stupidity, it's time to actually start transferring the crew over. So we get Bill out and put the spanner away because we don't want to be taking that down with us and actually remember what side of the spacecraft the door is on that would help a lot and of course Bob so now we can put scientists in the lab where she belongs and we're actually generating science the only problem is that at this point the uh, lab uses more power than the solar panels can generate and a deorbit burn. And re entry. It's all pretty standard. Bit of heating. Not really all that much. And now it's back to normal speed for the landing. That's the happiest I've ever seen these two during a re-entry. If I can just get rid of this damn heat shield. I just caught it again. Damn it. Come on. Off you get. Almost. There we go, it's gone. And bang, there it goes. <sighs> so, as the parachutes fully deploy, this has not exactly been the best episode of any means 
one day I will remember what I set out to do but this isn't over yet we still have one more quick mission to do and unlike this one I will remember all the things that I wanted to do with it I hope here we are now this isn't particularly new it's basically just an extended version of my uh, moon lander rocket and it doesn't even use anywhere near all this fuel but it does allow us to go further than we've ever ever gone before and everything's pretty standard it's just a basic gravity turn and then burn to our target altitude so we're going to skip forward until things get a bit more interesting oh and apparently we are no longer escaping that's easily fixed yeah So past the moon, past Minmus, and we're almost there. There we are. Almost. Yep. Mm-hmm. We are back. Well, well, not really back, but we are out above Kerbin's SOI. Time to do some science. What say you, Goo? Goo feels right at home here. Keep that. Observe materials bay. High radiation environment. Keep that. Rock temperature. <laughs> Keep that one. And I think that's pretty much a, all that we can expect. Now, in 115 days, we will we'll get back to Kerbin and then have a moon encounter. Or, we could just... Target Kerbin. Focus Kerbin works good. Okay, apparently we'll we were gonna crash into Kerbin. And apparently I can't target Kerbin. No matter. We just go retrograde. And that brings our encounter down to six minutes. That's a very weird encounter there. Oh, great. Moon. Out of me way. Right. 
Oh, we're only moving at 55 meters per second at this point. So I want my periaps to be nice and low inside the atmosphere. 300. Yeah, so I can just burn retrograde from here. Almost like captured orbit right now. Okay. And the purpose of this is obviously to test the heat shield under much more adverse conditions than what we previously have done. So, three, two, 20 kilometers. Nice. In 20 days. That's not the end of the story. No, no. Far from it. We will also... Why doesn't it... Why am I slowing down? Alarm clock? Oh, we've got a moho window right now. I did not even realize. Hmm. Yeah, I'm still 11 days out from my periaps. Hmm, a probe to Moho would be very nice. Although, in 32 days, there's a window for Jewel. I think we'll skip this Moho window and go for the next one whenever it happens to be and send a probe to Jewel. So back to our re-entry probe. Now as we get down here, let's plan a little maneuver. If I could plan a maneuver please. Give me a maneuver. That would be very nice. Okay, then. Guess not. Guess we're just going to have to wait until we get down low into the gravity well. And do it ourselves. What I want is to accelerate without dropping my periaps too much. So we're inside the atmosphere now. That'll do very nicely. Ditch that. Turn it around. Don't smack back into me, please! Go that way. Okay. Close that. Retract that. Now we are at the mercy of re-entry. So three and a half kilometers per second. Very, very fast. Already up to three Gs and still climbing very fast. Four Gs. Five Gs. So this is like coming back from Duna or something. Six G's. Still not going through the uh, ablator terribly fast. It seems a 20 kilometer periaps is pretty safe for any return. Barely anything off the heat shield. By 
kind of boring, really. Now we can deploy shoots, get rid of that heat shield, and enjoy our bounty of science. So, in the next episode, we will be sending a probe to Jewel, and probably working out what went wrong with the shuttle. I don't know right now, but I'll figure something out. Until then, see you guys later.